Are you wondering how to do square video editing in ScreenFlow for Mac? By the end of this little video, you'll be able to edit your videos like a pro. Hi, I'm Tina Hughes of tinahughesonline.com. For the best video backgrounds, tips, techniques and tutorials, subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Ready to jump in? Great, let's go. Here we are inside ScreenFlow for Mac and I've created a small project and I've saved it up here. You can see its name. It's called martiancoffeebeans.mars and I've indicated the size that I've created 1080 by 1080. Now I sometimes also create square videos in 800 by 800. It's entirely up to you and whatever the purpose of the video is. So let's have a look down here in the timeline. Uh, you can see here if I click on this text indicator here, this is the feeling sad text. If I scroll over and I click on the grab a coffee, you can see that that is a new text block, so that appears at the top. And also I have a text box at the bottom that I've added some animation to. We'll get to that in a minute. So on the next line down we have the video of a girl. I've got some free videos from Pexels and here are some other video clips. Now what I did here the one I downloaded wasn't quite long enough so I just duplicated it and created two more and below that we have a purple cloud. Now this is something that I have created and I needed it a bit longer so I've duplicated it and turned it into a second one. The bottom row here is some free music from YouTube. Now I'll show you how to play around with that too. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is with this purple background, it's a wide background rather than a square one, so that's okay. I don't have to trim it, but I can if I want to. So if I wanted to trim it, I would just click over here on the right-hand side at the top, click on the uh, video icon, scroll down a little bit till I see the cropping, and then I can choose how to crop. So I can crop that in from the left, I can crop it in from the right. It's entirely up to you. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it fits over the background. So that's for the cropping. So I can close that up. Very good. Now, something I did want to show you was I would like to add to this video of the lady. I'd like to add it after these three coffee videos. So I'm going to come over here to the end of the coffee. That's where I want this to appear. So I'm going to um, I've already clicked on it once, so now if I click on I'm going to copy with Command C or Apple C and then Command Paste, uh, Command V, which puts a copy of that video up here. I just have to drag it down, put it into position. Now the one thing about this video clip though is the girl is sad at the beginning. So while I've got it highlighted, I'm just pressing my right arrow till she starts to smile. So I'm going to put it about there and then I'm going to press the T key and that clips the clip. So we get rid of that. I drag the video back over. So now we go from the coffee to a smiling girl. Very good. Um, okay, so something else. Now that's going to be the full length of the video, which is not very long. It's only, what is it, 10 seconds? 10 seconds and a bit. Um, so now I can click on these and drag them out. So I want this text box at the bottom to come all the way out here. In fact, I'm just going to grab this little slider at the bottom so we can get it exact. Down here in the far left corner, there's a slider that extends the size on the screen so we can get closer to what we need. So now that I can see clearly where that has to come to, I'm grabbing the next text box and I'm dragging that out as well. So now they all end at the same position. With the uh, background purple, I can do the same thing. I'm going to press T to cut that video clip and then I'm going to get rid of this bit on the right hand side. I do the same with the music. I press T and then I get rid of it. Now I've got the music turned off while I'm doing this because it can be a little bit crazy while I'm talking. So what I want to do now is I'm coming down the bottom left, I'm reducing what I see on the screen. And then when you're at the end of 
uh, all of your pieces, all of your assets. You can just press the space bar to jump to the beginning if you want to and it will start playing. So I'm going to bring the um, head back. Now that I have selected the music clip, I'm coming up here to the top right hand corner. The first icon you can see is for video. The second icon is for sound or audio. Now you can see here that this is automatically set to 100%. Right now I've got it on mute, so I'm going to remove that checkbox. And then usually, I, if I've got no words on the video, I usually have the music set between 15 and 20%. So let's try that. I'll put it on 15 and then we'll come back here and play it and see what it sounds like. Sounds like it's not playing, so I need to put it up a bit higher. All right, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not very loud, but that's okay. Uh, it will depend on each person's computer or whether they're watching this on a, a, a mobile or um, any other device. So as we all know, everyone can have their own settings so they can see and hear things slightly differently. So, okay. What I always do, I always add um, at the end of the music here, it's only a 10 second clip, so I'm going to make it four seconds. I'm coming up here to the audio and I'm adding an action. Now, this is great because what this means is you can have the music fading out. So this is what I do for every single video where I have music. I drag this out. So I don't change anything. It's the right volume all the way along. But for the ending, I drag the playhead over and then I make that down to zero. I slide that volume down to zero. Now, okay, so I'm pretty happy with all of that. And um, that's a little lesson for some quick editing. Here is the final square video. It's only 10 seconds long. What do you think? Do you like it? And by the way, have you ever used a background video template before? I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments. And if you'd like a copy of my blue cloud square video background design, that's fantastic. So I've put a link below where you can pop over to my site and grab it. I hope you've enjoyed this square video editing in ScreenFlow for Mac. This is Tina Hughes saying cheerio for now. I look forward to seeing you again soon. And if you've got a moment, don't forget to subscribe or like or both if you would really like to. That would be fantastic. And uh, I will see you very soon. Cheerio for now. Bye-bye.